welcome. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about finishing off unfinished paths. So I'm going to make a new document. And in this new document, I'm going to go ahead and go with the standard settings. And what I want you to see here is what would happen if I had my pen tool and I formed some type of shape. There we go. Now, right now, this shape, uh, if I use my black arrow, click on it, I can see that it has a fill. I'm going to go ahead and give it a more obvious fill, and I'm also going to give it a more obvious line. So basically, this is a path that isn't complete. It doesn't connect from here to here. So how do you do that? Well, if you are on the black arrow tool and you click the path, the top here will do one thing. If you use this tool and click on it, just trying to get one of the paths points, these little anchor points, you can see that it will change the control panel to another option. Now, with the way this works is you can click on one of these points at a time. Now, these other ones pop out and you can see their handles, but I want to be able to select two of these at the same time. What I'm going to do is select this top left one, and then I'm going to hit Control and hit the other one. Or, I'm sorry, Shift and hit the other one. So now I have two points selected. These two points I want to connect. Well, believe it or not, there's a handy dandy tool to do that. It's called the Connect Selected Endpoints Tool. So this is how you connect two lines together. Now what it's going to do is it's going to automatically make a straight line. That's what it does in CS5. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Let's try it again in another situation. I'm going to take a point here. Oh, wrong tool. Missed it. Let's use that. And come around and around. And I'm going to get really like close. But I'm not quite there. Okay, So let's take a look at what this is. If we were to zoom in on this, it's like, yeah, they're not quite there. No problem, we'll zoom out. So when they're really close like that, um, if they're like on top of each other, okay, let's see if I can get these to be on top of each other. Um, I'm just going to kind of get it right there. But it's not like they're connected. See, it's not making a loop. Okay, I'm going to, once again, hold down Shift, until both of them are selected. Now that option comes up. This little guy's there again. I can connect them. And then it makes a corner. So you can see how that works. Now you could go back and convert that later on to make it a curve. No problem. Now zoom back out. So, what did we learn in this one? Pretty simple. We're just going to connect two endpoints by using shift click to select them. They don't even have to be part of the same thing. Let's try it again. This time I'm going to use the regular pen tool. Draw a line. Okay. And then I'm going to have another object. Draw, let's see. Draw another line. All right. And so now I'm going to hold down shift. Select that point there. I'm going to get that point there and connect them. So you can see how that works. Now in this case it selected, it ended up connecting to the other side, but that's okay. So anyway, what I want you to do is practice connecting different points to make them connect together. Hold down shift, grab these, and then use that little tool.